Customer Satisfaction of Airlines Based in the Philippines. Journal of Tourism and Hospitality Research, Volume 15, Number 1, 2018. Angelica C. Kaiga, Camille D. Delgado, Sandra Monica B. Madayag, Justin Andrea D. Malauluan, Norian G. Onda, Lindsay Gwyneth M. Torres, Ria F. L. Menes, College of International Tourism and Hospitality Management, Lyceum of the Philippines University, Batangas City, Philippines. The study aimed to assess the customer satisfaction of local airlines. Specifically, it sought to present the profile of the respondents in terms of occupation, educational attainment, frequency of travel, and purpose of travel. Determine the customer satisfaction in terms of airline tangibles, terminal tangibles, personal quality, empathy, and airline image, and test the significant difference on the assessment of customer service when grouped according to profile. The study made use of descriptive method and utilized an adapted questionnaire distributed among 305 passengers of two airlines based in the Philippines. Majority of the respondents are employed, college graduate, traveling once a year due to leisure activities. The respondents are satisfied with the services of local airlines in relevance to personal quality, airline tangible, airline image, terminal tangible, and empathy. There is a significant difference found in the respondents' satisfaction when grouped according to the frequency of travel and educational attainment. Moreover, highly significant difference is found in airline tangible and terminal tangible when grouped to purpose of travel and recommendations include conducting customer satisfaction survey, provide more flight schedules, and different trainings for the employees of the local airlines to enhance the customer satisfaction towards their services. Airline services in their awareness of loyalty decrease and higher expectations from their customers, making it difficult for them to find ways in increasing marketable services and good airline image. It is stated that customer satisfaction is important in enhancing performance management. Thus, the aim of this study is to determine the levels of satisfaction of customers in selected local airlines, as the significance of the research is also to determine if there was a difference of customer satisfaction when grouped according to profile. Here are the method how the research conducted. For the research design, the study made use of a descriptive method to assess a customer satisfaction with local airlines. The participants of the study were 305 passengers of Filipino airlines. The researchers randomly selected the respondents in a IA terminal fee in passing seat. The instrument has two parts and is an adopted questionnaire from the study of Ali, Day, and Infilary, which passed the reliability test using Cronbach Alpha. For the procedure to make the study possible, the researchers created a letter for the concerned group of people. And lastly, the statistical tools were used to interpret the data gathered are percentage and frequency, weighted mean, and analysis of variance. Proceeding to results and discussion, in the Table 1, it occurred that the highest frequency for each profile are employed people, college graduates, traveling once a year, and leisure purposes of travel is the common profile of passengers for low-cost airlines. Tables 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, weighted mean was used to determine the customer satisfaction, which occurred that these are all rated satisfied in terms of airline and terminal tangibles, personal quality, empathy, and airline image, meaning respondents were satisfied with the service provided by the low-cost airline. From Table 7, it says that based on their occupation, there is a significant difference in terms of personal quality. Employed have higher level of satisfaction since they are working from the same field where they offer services and can say if the service of the airline provided is good or not. Table 8 shows that according to their educational opinion, there is a significant difference in terms of airline and terminal tangibles, personal quality, and entity. Their perception of satisfaction in airline differs due to their knowledge of how these services must be provided. Next table, there is significant difference from the satisfaction of customer depends on how frequent they travel. Then table 10, according to purpose of travel, there is a significant difference on airline and terminal tangible. Table 11 is the proposed action plan to improve customer satisfaction. The key area objectives and strategies that they can do so that they can have a positive outcome. The researcher proposed an action plan to be used by the local airlines to enhance the customer satisfaction towards their services. But we suggest to the company to continue evaluating their customers' experiences depending on what they enjoy or dislike for the further adjustment. Majority of the respondents are employed and college graduates, traveling once a year due to leisure activities. They are satisfied with the services of the local airlines. 
there is a difference found in the respondent's satisfaction with groups, frequency of travel, and educational attainment. While difference is also found in the airline tangible and terminal tangible when grouped to purpose of travel and found in personal quality when grouped according to occupation. That's why the researcher proposed an action plan to develop and enhance the customer satisfaction towards the services of the local carrier.